500 yards, until you actually see the, the site. And when you go further, further away from it, it's not really truly visible. Now, that's traffic complaints. If the set the slightly larger volume of traffic in the district for better employment prospects for your family in the future, I believe that the general public will accept the extra traffic, the economic benefits that this produces. Thank you. Then the naysayers opened up. I think one of my concerns is the potentially harmful impact on the rural character and scenic beauty and tranquility of the area, plus the fact of having a 70-vehicle car park in, in, in a rural location anyway. It strikes me as not being appropriate in, in, the, AO, in the AONB. From the point of view of the area of outstanding natural beauty, there's a lot of real concern here about how it fits into that. You know, it is an area where dark skies would, could almost be achieved because there's very little housing out there. I just find that argument constantly frustrating. I mean, and we say about the dark skies, I don't know anyone that stands and looks up at dark skies and goes, ooh, dark skies. There are people living in the areas of outstanding natural beauty and they need jobs. I just would say to my good friend, Councillor Dave, <laughs> that uh, I do go out for dark skies. Uh, and I didn't say up until half past 10 last night watching Sky at night for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Cooper. Do members have any matters of clarification? The debate had gone the full 12 rounds. No. And I just hoped that common sense and logic had won the day. All those in favour of refusal, please show. And those against? The application is refused. Shit, 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 shit.